Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid and today I'm going to be explaining the Remove All Devices button on the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus. Uh, this button is found within the Z-Wave Devices menu and it accordingly removes all the Z-Wave devices from the IQ Panel 2 or IQ Panel 2 Plus system. Uh, this is basically a Z-Wave reset function. Um, it's what you use in a last resort situation if you're having trouble with uh, your system's Z-Wave controller. If you find that multiple Z-Wave devices aren't working and you believe that it's the panel's fault, uh, not the fault of the individual Z-Wave devices, then you might perform this function uh, to remove all the Z-Wave devices, reset the Z-Wave controller, and then start anew. Uh, you might also do this if you are uh, selling the panel or you're giving it away uh, because you don't want your existing Z-Wave devices paired with the system. For one, that's a common courtesy, and two, um, it's just kind of it kind of keeps things safe because um, just it's unlikely. But if they somehow had control over your uh, your own Z-Wave devices, um, well, that you wouldn't want that. Um, they're they're controlling their own Z-Wave devices. So um, if you want to have them start fresh with no devices paired, then you might do this. Um, like I said, this is a last resort, so try all the other methods first because uh, you will need to re-add any Z-Wave device that you want to continue using with the system. Um, you will need to clear it from the network um, because even though this, this, this function, it wipes all the Z-Wave devices, it clears all the devices from the network, it doesn't let the Z-Wave devices know that they're cleared. So in, when the Z-Wave devices, they're smart devices, they'll think that they're still enrolled with the system. So you need to wipe out the residual Z-Wave data and then add it to the network. So I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Um, but um, And you also do that even if you're adding a new Z-Wave device, so this is nothing new. Usually when you're adding a Z-Wave device, whether it's you've used it before or it's a brand new one, you always want to clear it from the network first, so I'll be showing that off. But um, right now we have one Z-Wave device paired with the system, it's a lock. But let's get to the Z-Wave devices menu first. Uh, so we're at the main screen of the IQ Panel 2, we'll click the small gray bar at the top, and we'll choose settings, we'll choose advanced settings. And then we're going to enter in our installer code, which is ours is at the default. One, 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 one. We'll choose installation. We'll choose devices. We'll choose Z-Wave devices. And then you'll see the remove all devices button right there. Just to show you that we have a Z-Wave device, uh, we have our lock, the front door. And we'll back out. And we'll choose remove all devices. And it says this function will remove all Z-Wave devices from the network. Are you sure you want to continue? It just has a, a fail-safe to make sure you really want to do this just in, in case you clicked it accidentally because this is a big step here. You are going to have to reconfigure your Z-Wave network. So we'll choose OK. And then we're going to wait a brief moment while it removes all the devices. This may take a few minutes, so just be patient. All the devices from the network successfully. OK, it removed all the Z-Wave devices from the network, so we'll choose OK. And then when I click Edit Device, you'll see there are currently no devices included because it cleared the lock from the network. So if we want to continue using the lock, we have to re-add it to the network. So like I said, we won't just be able to add the device right away because the lock still thinks that it's paired with the IQ2. So we're going to have to choose clear device. And then we press the button on the lock, the inclusion exclusion button. Device cleared from the network successfully. And it has been successfully cleared from the network. And just as a reminder, you can do this even if the, the device is paired with a different Z-Wave network, a different Z-Wave controller or hub. Maybe you have it paired with your smart things or whatever and now you're bringing it over to the IQ2 for some reason, um, you can use the IQ2 to clear it. Or you can even do this if it's not paired with the network. You'll still get notification that it is cleared. But uh, we've cleared it from the network, so we can choose Add Device, and we'll choose Include. And then we press the same button on the lock for this particular lock, lock model. And it looks like that didn't go through. We'll try again. And it did discover the lock. So, um, and we get a notification that this device uh, uses the S0 protocol when the IQ2 supports up to S2, uh, but that's normal, so we'll just press OK, and we'll, we're fine with the name and the type, so we'll just choose Add. And now we've added the lock to uh, the Z-Wave network on the IQ2. So we'll choose Include. Or no, we're not going to choose Include. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> we've already included it. Um, we'll just choose the Home button to go back to the main screen. The lock's already added. So we're, we're fine with that. Um, so that's the Remove All Z-Wave Devices. Um, function on uh, the IQ Panel 2. Uh, it clears all the Z-Wave devices from the network so that you can start fresh with no Z-Wave devices added. Um, it's a good troubleshooting tool, last resort troubleshooting tool, if you're having trouble with your Z-Wave network. Um, so if you have any questions about Z-Wave or the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus or about alarm monitoring services, 
send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below if you liked the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.